from West Meadows Ice Arena in Rolling Meadows, you have the 7, 9, and 2 BJHW Stampede facing off against the 0, 16, and 1 D211 Chiefs. It's senior night for the Stampede. And as they are led by Captain Caleb Birkencotter, they seek to get back into the win column today. I'm Ryan Contreras, Betson, alongside Adam Griesel. We'll be bringing you the action all night tonight. Adam, what do you expect from this game? Well, even though the Chiefs are 0-16-1, I'm expecting a close game. I'm expecting that the Chiefs are going to play with a lot of pride, try to ruin BGHW's senior night, and kind of control this matchup, get them in the right track heading into the rest of the season. On the other hand, BGHW has a lot to play for tonight. First off, they have to play for their seniors, and they also have to play for getting back on track with their season. 7-9-2, and two, they're below 500. They want to get back above 500, try to make us uh, a run here in the second half. Yeah, coming off a 2-0 loss on Wednesday evening to New Trier Blue, a tight one. Both goals were scored in that first period, and the Stampede were not able to capitalize despite outshooting New Trier in that game. Meanwhile here, for the, for the Chiefs, they're looking to get a win on the board at some point. They lost 6-3 to three to the same Stampede squad just over a month ago. I mean, if you're the Chiefs, what's the message on the bench? I think the message is you just got to play with pride, right? We're 0-16-1. There's nowhere, you know, we cannot go lower than this, you know. All we got to do is go up. And uh, for BGHW, uh, kind of their message is get 22 involved. Number 22, John Gatta, is their number one leading scorer in goals and in points, both in full and in the power play. And getting him involved early and consistently in this game is going to be key for BGHW. Yeah, eight goals, eight assists. He's been on fire. He's a junior, so he's still got a little bit of time ahead of him. He did great last year as well, and he continues here tonight. And starting in goal for the BGHW Stampede, we're going to have number 33, Adam Krizanowski. Not really the expected. We thought it was going to be Luke Fanella, but Krizanowski is going to get the start here. So far this season, he's got seven games played. He's got an 808 save percentage, three wins, three losses, one tie. That's a 4.177 goals against average. I mean, what do you expect? I mean, that's a surprise starter. It is a surprise starter, but I think they're going to go trust him. Uh, both of these goalies are good. You know, they have the skills to be great goalies and to kind of control this game through how they get uh, get those saves. And it's just going to come down to if he can live up to the pressure, and I think that he can. And, I mean, the big key for the Chiefs is going to be number 98, Luke Jordan. Luke Jordan, an RDL uh, broadcaster, as you guys know him. He's got the C on his jersey for a reason. He's not only a leader on the ice, but he's a leader in goals and points, and he's tied for the team lead in assists. Seven goals, four assists for 11 points. He's been leading this team all year long, looking to get going on the board. And starting in net for the Chiefs, don't forget, number 36, Tyler Bruno. He's getting the start over Tyson Moore. Tyson Moore projected to start tomorrow versus Barrington. For Tyler Bruno, he's got nine games played, a 6.11 goals against average, and an 8.08 save percentage. Obviously no wins for any of these goalies so far. What are your three keys to this game, Adam? I think the three keys to this game is just controlling the puck if you're uh, the D211 Chiefs. Uh, both of these goalies have not played uh, very well this whole season. I think if you're the Chiefs, controlling the puck and making sure that Luke Jordan gets the puck and can control it as he's your best player on the ice. Well, uh, I think, oh, say, sorry, I cut you off there. Yes, uh, I think one of the keys for BGHW is uh, just to get John Gatta and keep the ball or get John Gatta involved and keep the puck away from Luke Jordan, kind of control this game with their style of play. We've got opening face off here, won by the Stampede. Logan Peterson wins it back to Caleb Birkenkotter as Jack Veller chips in. Here's a quick two-on-one. Peterson trying to slide it across, not able to, and it's turned over. Here comes the other way for the Stampede. Turned over. Now here's Birkenkotter. Rings it up the boards. Peterson is going to dump it in. Got a bunch of line mismatches for the Chiefs, really changing it up out there. Colton Winkleback lined up at the forward position, although he's listed as defense. Bringing it out is a shot from the point. Blocked. Birkenkotter, one-timer, scores! Caleb Birkenkotter, the senior captain, early on, 34 seconds in, and the Stampede take the lead. I mean, that is just something, if you're the D211 Chiefs, you do not want to see. Early in this game, just right from the faceoff, BGHW control this game, and if you look at this passing play right here, just amazing puck movement by BGHW Stampede, and just a great play by Stampede to get them up 1-0 early on senior night. 
For Caleb Birkenkotter, as I check down here at my stats, that is his second goal of the season. Birkenkotter, the captain and leading defenseman, lined up on that first pairing. Starts them off earlier as Johnny Thompson snipes through the fence before it's poked away. Now here come the Chiefs back with it, trying to cut through and is hounded off the puck. Here comes Stampede back the other way. Johnny Thompson cuts in over the blue line. Toe drag, stick to side. Out to the point is waiting Colin Jones. Pucks escapes his wit. Vandekott loses it. Here comes back in the other way is Chernick. Chernick takes a shot, save made by Bruno. Back out to center ice. Here comes Wisniewski in. Wisniewski a shot, blocker save, made, rebound, kicked aside again by Bruno. Shot attempt from Adrian Wisniewski, one of the leading scorers on the team. Couldn't get through. Sam Levin now tried to chip it around before it's cleared the length of the ice for an icing. Carol Solka tried to ring it around the boards. Just a little too far. Yeah, and that was, I would say, fortunate for the D211 Chiefs. I mean, they were, they were struggling there on defense. And it's going to put them in a worse position right now uh, with this faceoff here on their own side. It's going to be tough. Let's see what that happens here. Shot by Gerjert's blocker save made again by Bruno. Rimming him into the boards is Gogarty. Aiden Gogarty, a junior, fighting strong off the puck. Chipping it around. Gerjert's can't hold on to it. Kazniak now with it at his skates, loses it. Gerjert's back to the point. Banning on the pass. Here's Kazniak. Kazniak to Shaw. Shaw rims it in. Fires it off the linesman. Back to get it is Frank Ban. Ban the junior. Tosses it over. Here comes Sam Levin up the left wing board. Sam is a senior. Shoots one in on Bruno. Saved. Falls after his own rebound. Loose in the crease and is taken out. Turned it over. Gogarty trying to slide one across. Stick save. Gogarty dancing. My apologies. Peterson. Peterson a rifle shot just wide. Levin fires one off the skate. Now here's Ban. Ban firing one again. Another save by Bruno, and he'll cover. With 12.23 to go in this first period, faceoff will come to his left. And that was just some great goalie play right there by Bruno. So many shots take at him from the left from the right, and he had managed to block them all, really kept his calm on the pressure, and didn't let that first goal affect him. First line back out there for the Stampede, also for the Chiefs. Luke Jordan wins the faceoff, but it's turned over. Get it now, save made by Bruno. Down in the corner, Luke Jordan trying to fight through. Swings it aside, taking it up now is Copen. Copen trying to hit Queen, is missing it wide. Birkenkotter shoots it in, bounces off of Stanek. Stanek now trying to clear it out. He's able to chip around. He's going to find the open uh, Pepe. Pepe is hit off the puck by Antonucci. Ryan Antonucci, the sophomore from Hersey. Chipped aside, here's Luke now. Loses the puck, turned it over, spinning move. Now Pepe dances with three with it. Two on two here. Just dumping it in, sticked aside by Chris Nowski. Checking him off the puck, firing one off the side of the net. Chipping it around, looking for a centering attempt off the blocker of Chris Nesky. And it's taken out. Here's the Stampede trying to set back up. Back to Solka. Solka one-timer just wide. Shot in. Blocked away by Antonucci. Birkenkotter tries to clear. He can't get it out. Dumped back and low by Vandekott. Queen now in to get it. Gatta now will recover. Gatta has some time. Flings it to the middle of the ice. Looking for lock. Not able to get there. Queen is going to ring it in. And the Chiefs go off for a line change. Birkenkotter fires one in the middle of the ice. It's chipped aside. Now here's Veller. Interesting note, Jack Veller is facing off against his dad, Bob Veller, the head coach of the Chiefs. Interesting storyline here for uh, senior night. We'll see how that plays out tonight. Here's Vandekott now with it. Fires it in. And out comes Wisniewski. Off to Veller. Veller now chips it in. Dancing behind the net, Thompson out to get it, not there. Reed chips it off quickly to Vandekott before it comes back to Reed. Reed skating it with speed, is gonna spin it around. Stampede back out to get it. Vel Jones now trying to chip it aside. Comes back to him on his own. Great stick there, but it's picked up by Wisniewski. 
And as you see here, like, when the Chiefs get good opportunities, they can capitalize. It's just they haven't right now. They just haven't uh, gotten them that, that one shot that they need to kind of get themselves back in this game. Thompson is just going to chip it in as the Stampede go off for a line change. Holding it now is Winkleback. Winkleback is hounded quickly there by Reed Gergerts. Flinging it down into the corner for an icing. And we'll get a face off. Looks like it's going to be coming to the left of Bruno. Yeah, it seemed like after those first couple um, couple opportunities there by uh, BGHW, the Chiefs were able to kind of lock in here and be able to kind of get the ball away, or the puck away from Bruno and kind of secure some better position. Intended target was banned on that pass and it misses as Kasniak goes for the check. Here comes now, Gergert's in with it. Gergert's drop pass by Gogert, he rifles it wide. Quick snapshot from Aiden Gogarty. Dancing in now with it is Drazen. Drazen to the middle of the ice, no one home. Diving attempt to clear it out. Calderon put his body on the line for that one, and now in to get it is Stark. Stark chips it up the boards before getting it back, turning it over. And it looks like there will be a penalty, so the Chiefs head to their first power play of the game. Looks like it's going to be a tripping call against Aiden Gogarty. So Gogarty heads to the box, and the Chiefs get their first look at the power play. This is going to be huge for the Chiefs. They need to capitalize on this, and on the season, they haven't really capitalized on this. Yep, only three power play goals during the regular season so far, and two of those have come by Luke Jordan. He'll be taking that face off here, and he'll lose it, and it was not able to cut in at the point. Nigro skating in with a hard forecheck, trying to quickly capitalize, going in after Copen. Trying to chip it around Levin, not able to. Great forecheck there by Sam Levin. You know, they say the best penalty kill comes from offensive possession at times. Solka now trying to hit Queen. Queen hits Luke Jordan, coming in with speed. Jordan spinning around, trying to get around Pepe, provided his own teammate screen. Pepe now with it, looks for the centering attempt. He's just going to skate around the point. Fires one, save made by Krasnowski. Jordan in, is checked aside, off the rebound. Kept in for a moment by Kepin before Levin dumps it in, down the ice. 1-10 to go here on the man advantage for the Chiefs. They've only gotten one shot off. Second unit out there. Here's Kepin in with it. Kepin with some space. Looking for help, Colin Jones now dumps it in. Kept in at the point. Queen fires it around. Pepe loses it. Rifles him off the puck, and now here's Kepin. I mean, Bandicon, my apologies. Solka, a shot from the point, soaked up by Krasnowski, my apologies. And he holds. Yes, I mean, that power play has not been going uh, what the Chiefs need right now. I mean, they just have not been able to get shots on goal. They have not been able to capitalize on opportunities that have been given to them. And that needs to be the story of this game. They need to turn this around to have a shot against this solid BGHW team. Bandicott wins the faceoff back. Winkleback tried to fire one. He lost an edge and tumbles. Bandicott keeps it in. Here's Shaw. Dancing around. Rocked off the puck. Wisniewski is going to clear it the length of the ice. One last rush should be coming here for the Chiefs with 7.09 to go here in this first period. The Stampede still lead 1-0 off the Caleb Burke and Cotter goal. 34 seconds into this one. Turned over to Gatta at the blue line who's rocked. Calderon laid the body. Here's Reed now with it. Looking for a check is Gatta. Going in and late. Calderon a shot, stick to side. Ban tried to clear it past Reed, he's not able to. Taking a tumble and diving on the play is Locke. Looks like there will be a tripping penalty. Believe it's gonna be against the Chiefs. Shaking his head is Reed as he skates to the box. So it looks like BJHW will have their first man advantage of the night. This is not what the Chiefs need. Already so far, even with fair, fair play and even with the Chiefs power play in the possession, They've had way too many costly turnovers, and they haven't gotten enough shots in the, tonight. 
It's going to be interesting to see how the Chiefs kind of respond to a one-man disadvantage here. Stampede have struggled on the power play when you look at their full season stats, only at 25%. Shot is blocked side Gatta, now back to the point. Here's Wisniewski firing it one timer, he scores! Logan Peterson fires it home, it's a power play goal. And the Stampede go up 2-0. And that right there is just fundamental hockey right there, finding the open man, especially on the power play, finding that open man, getting the puck to him, and just setting up a beautiful shot right here. Look at the pass right there, I mean, amazing pass, sets up a beautiful goal by number Woody Peterson, 26, a senior. So, so far on senior night, we've got two seniors winning that faceoff here. Two seniors with the goal. Logan Peterson is when you account for all non-league play and non-tournament play, I should say, rather. He is the leading goal scorer for this BJHW squad. He has 16 goals in about 37 games this year. That would be a 17th, and in league play, that is his seventh goal of the season. This is just his 15th game of the year. The Stampede enter this one, having played 18 games. 6-10 to go here in this first period. 2-0 so far in favor of the Stampede. Uh, off the goals by Birkin, Cotter, and Peterson. Chiefs are going to find a way to get it past. Save made by Krasnowski. Dancing in the crease and is cleared. Kazniak is rocked off the puck, and here comes a power play for the Chiefs. If you want to talk about missed opportunities, right there was one. They had a perfect shot to get, uh, get a goal right there. But the um, great goalie play by Krasnowski and just great defense by BGHW kind of stifled that. And, and led to, you know, no goal. And the Chiefs still down 2-0, looking for something to kind of spark a comeback here. We're trying to see who they're sending off for the penalty. Can't see down there in the box who's out. They're going to send Blake Perot into the box. And so the Chiefs get another chance at a power play that wasn't able to do much that first time around. Jordan wins the faceoff this time but it's cleared out the length of the ice by Drazen immediately. Drazen got clipped high by a stick. He's gonna head to the bench. Stark is gonna find Jordan along the right wing boards. Jordan's gonna play it safe and dump it off to Calderon. Calderon, I don't know exactly what the plan was there as he shoots a wrist shot into the end boards and it's quickly turned over and cleared the length of the ice by Sam Levin. Levin hustling in after it. As you can see, lackadaisically getting back to the crease is Bruno. Almost a dangerous play there for the Chiefs. Cutting in with speed is Queen. Firing one, save made. Shot, a shot just wide. Dancing around one check, getting it off to Queen. Queen now has it behind the net. Queen is going to look to the point. It's going to come to Keppen, and Keppen can't hold on to it. Bruno comes out of his net to play it, and he's going to leave it off for Jordan. Jordan has one minute to go here on this power play to get something going. Dances around one before it's turned over. Nigro is able to clear it. Whiffs a couple of times, it comes to Keppen. Keppen, a saucer pass, misses Calderon, and now Birkenkotter with it. Birkenkotter hounded there for a brief moment. Turned over, dancing it to himself is Vandekott. It's gonna be a hand pass. He wasn't able to get it to his own stick in time. Face off will come to the neutral zone. Yeah, and I mean, this has been the story of the game. The Chiefs just cannot capitalize on any opportunities. 38 seconds left in this power play and still very little shots on goal for the Chiefs here. Chiefs have two shots on goal on this power play. Better than the one shot on goal they had in their first man advantage. Wisniewski spinning around about three Chiefs players and firing at the length of the ice. Bruno is going to leave it off for Stark. Stark is going to look for um, Winkleback. It's ch dancing around Chernick with it before it's taken out. Turning it over is to Chernick. Chernick hits it back into the zone. Winkleback with it. Off the end boards comes straight to Colin Jones who turns it over to Vandekott. Vandekott playing it safely. It comes back to Winkleback. 
Winkle back through the neutral zone. In comes Brian Reed who turns it over. Here comes Peterson. Peterson is gonna fire one over the net. Gatta in on the forecheck. Both teams at even strength now with 3.35 to go here in this first period. Stampede lead 2-0. Pinching is Wisniewski, keeping it at the blue line. Peterson now with it. Behind the back feed, in front, shooting one just wide of the net. Good look there from Noah Locke. Turning it over, now here comes Reed. Reed coming in with speed is gonna dump and chase. As the Chiefs go off for a line change. Here's Wisniewski now, toe drag, spins around one, chips it to his defensive partner, turned over, Winkleback kept in at the point. Chiefs did not have the right amount of players. Kasniak was slow to get onto the ice for that change. They, had, they were playing a man down. And a big hit in the corner, knocks free the puck. But here comes Locke with it. Locke loses it at the end boards. Here's Jones now trying to fire a shot through traffic as Kasniak will take it out. Kasniak was trying to pass, couldn't get through. Spinning it in, and now here's the Stampede with it. Cutting back in through the neutral zone is Ban. Ban is going to fire one blocker to side by Bruno. And to get it is Calder on. He'll clear it the length of the ice for icing. Again, the story of this game so far has been Chiefs turnovers. Way too many turnovers, costly, especially in their own on their own side of the ice, that have led to goals, that have led to just bad plays and missed opportunities for the Chiefs. So we're interested to see how they're gonna uh, how they're gonna fix this in the last two minutes of this first period and going into the second and third periods. Ban with a shot from the point, redirected in, glove saved by Bruno. Slap shot kept low to the ice. Let's see whose stick it hit. Redirected off Tyler Queen's stick. Face off coming to the left of Bruno. Jordan has struggled at the face off dot to start this game and he loses another one there. Dancing around one and firing one. Gerger, it's had a couple of nice moves. Jordan tries to clear it down the boards. It's turned over. Gergert's now skates behind the net. Gergert is going to find one out to Drazen. Save made by Bruno. Pepe now trying to chip it around. Trying to see who that is on the ice. I missed the number. Well, we'll come back to that one. This puck's down in the corner. Here's Drazen with it. Drazen skating, looking. Tried to cross ice to Ban, who just misses. Spinning around with a nice move is Pepe before Ban flicks it down the ice. In to recover is Kuppen. Kuppen gives it off to Queen. Queen clears it the length of the ice with a shot just wide of Krasnowski. Here come the stampede back the other way. Chernick is going to chip it. Reed with it. Off the end boards, Pepe hits Antonucci into the boards. Here comes Stampede off the line change. Nigro chips it to Birkenkotter. Birkenkotter is just going to ring it around the boards. The length of the ice for an icing. And again, like the Chiefs have had opportunities to go and score. They've had opportunities, they had, they've had two on twos, they've had three on threes. They just haven't been able to capitalize on these opportunities. They get another opportunity here with 40 seconds left in this first period to try to get on the board, cut this lead to one. Face off one by Vandekott, but Burke and Cotter turns it over. I mean, another big key that I've noticed is just the enormous amount of turnovers by the Chiefs anytime they get a brief second of offensive zone possession. Skating in with speed is Chernick. Chernick fires one, soaked up by Bruno, and he'll hold. 21 seconds to go in this first period. 2-0 Stampede. And like you said, man, these costly turnovers are killer. 40 seconds left. Chiefs have it on uh, BGHW side of the ice. All of a sudden, 20 seconds. Now BGHW's got it on the Chiefs side of the ice here with a faceoff that the Chiefs have struggled with. And it's going to be interesting to see What's gonna happen here? Vandekott loses the faceoff. Antonucci chips it down. 
Play and catch with Jack Veller. Chernick back to Veller, firing one just wide of the net. Veller had a point-blank opportunity and was not able to find Twine. Antonucci turns it over. And shot right after the buzzer goes high and wide. And that'll do it for the first period. After one, BJHW has a 2-0 advantage over the D211 Chiefs. Adam, I mean, we were talking about it all throughout that period, but a big problem for the Chiefs is the turnovers and the lack of ability to get a shot off on net. Yes, I mean, it's been killing them all game long, and it's just the lack, uh, I would say, of communication on the ice and just the pressure, I would say. I mean, you're going into BGHW senior night. You're, it's, you're 0 16 to one It's a tough place to play here. And all of a sudden, you're just making these turnovers and you get a goal score on you in the first 30 seconds. That is a tough spot to be playing in. But they're going to have to bounce back uh, to, try to, to try to get back in this game. 0-2, it's not, it's not uh, horrible to come back from. But it's going to be tough for this team to come back from this. Well, if we look at that first game between these two teams, which took place on October 16th, a 6-3 victory for the Stampede. Luke Jordan opened the scoring for the Chiefs, giving them a 1-0 lead. Reed Gergertz was able to score. Troy Pepe scored for the Chiefs. Jack Feller's first of the season tied the game. Brendan Keppen got the lead back for the Chiefs. They had the lead as late as the second period before a shorthanded goal by Adrian Wisniewski tied it. The game-winning goal came from Noah Locke. Sam Levin potted an insurance goal. Uh, Johnny Gatto also potted another insurance goal. Uh, that was a chippy game. We haven't seen, uh, we've seen penalties today, already three. Uh, but in that game, there were 15 total penalties, but 10 happened in that third period, including three separate game misconducts, including one from the Chiefs bench. I think one thing that you can see, though, is the emotions are flying high. I mean, these players are playing physical, uh, uh, ho physical hockey out here. And one, it makes it fun to watch. And two, it just kind of shows how much passion these guys have for the game and, you know, how much they want to win this game. And so if the Chiefs can harness this passion, they can come out and, and end up scoring here. Go up 2-2, or tie the game 2-2, maybe go up 3-2. It's going to be interesting to see how this game plays out with these uh, first period adjustments. We will have to see, and we do apologize for any mispronunciations. Uh, I've butchered quite a few names tonight for no reason, quite frankly. Uh, is there something going on on the bench? We can't tell exactly what's going on. One of the linesmen is there talking to, who is that? Is that Birkenkotter? Yeah, it is. Don't know exactly what he's scrolling through, so we're waiting that puck drop to start the second period. Looking over to our resident rules analyst, it feels like, Danny Lunard. Danny, you got anything for me? Danny has no clue. So we're kind of in limbo here. If you're just joining us, we're at the West Meadows Ice Arena. I'm Ryan Contreras-Betts. I'm alongside Adam Griesel. You've heard us a couple of times before. You might have heard me a few more times than Adam, at least for hockey games. I know, Adam, you've done basketball, correct? I've done basketball, and I did football, football. as well. So It's going to be interesting to see how this shakes out. If Bergen Cotter's not going to be able to get back on the ice, that's going to be a huge blow for this BGHW team. He's got on the backbone, not only of the defense, but of the team. As you can see, he is a team captain. He kind of brings the spirit to this team. Kind of brings brings the game, brings the passion, especially on his senior night. It's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. Yeah, I'm really confused. I mean, obviously, we can't see down there what exactly is going on. But, you know, it's unusual to see that sort of action by the line. So finally skating away from the bench. Let's see what he's passing on over to the Chiefs. Head coach Bob Veller. Still can't tell. Looks like we're getting ready for that opening puck drop. Took a moment, but we finally got there. Face off won by the Chiefs, who are changing up their lines a little bit now. Owen Shaw, or Tez Shaw wins that face off before turning it over. Here's Wisniewski now, kicks it to his stick. Finds Veller cutting through the neutral zone, kicking it a few times, and lost it. Here are the Chiefs back the other way. Kasniak with it. Brian Kasniak dances through one. It's turned over. Shaw dumps it in low. As Wisniewski clears out, here's Veller. Veller along the left wing board. Centers it. Thompson not able to hold on. Thompson taken down, falling alongside Winkelbeck. 
Pinned up against the end boards. Out to the point is Jones, a shot glove save by Bruno. And this is exactly what I'm talking about here, the passion that these players have for the game, hitting each other against the boards, just wanting to go after it. Love to see it from these players. It's going to be a very interesting game going into these last two periods. So the Chiefs now get their first line back out on the ice as Jordan loses another faceoff. But it works out as here's Pepe able to clear it to the neutral zone. Queen loses it for a brief moment. That's cleared the length of the ice. In to get it is Keppen. Keppen is turning it over quite in a rapid pace. Shot just over the net. Centering attempt. Here's Keppen now turning it over again. Gatta flings it just out of the reach of a lunging Luska. He clears it to the neutral zone. Here's Jordan with it. He's going to chip and chase. Van has it. Chips it over Jordan's head. Jordan tried to catch it. Here's Gatta. Gatta firing one save made by Bruno. I would say Bruno's not having a bad game. Just He's got a lot of shots taken at him. This I mean, the first goal against was a bad goal. I mean, it was a low shot, kind of weak off the stick of Birkenkotter. It looked like it surprised Bruno. Went straight through the five hole. But the second one, there was nothing he could do there. Yeah, it's, it's a tough situation to be in. The defense is not helping him out too much. But it's going to be interesting to see as the Chiefs are going to take this a two-on-two -two advantage here. Here's Reed fanning on a shot. Now here's Antonucci chipping it around. It's dumped back in. Burke and Cotter with it. Shoots one into the skates of Reed. Vandekot tried to lay the body on Antonucci. Puck was just cleared. Losing an edge quickly. Here's Drazen now with it. Drazen centering attempt. Nothing going. Turned over. Here's Gergerts now with it. Gergerts spins on an edge. Takes it to the uh, blue line. Here's Burke and Cotter. A wrist shot just wide. Pinching is Antonucci. Spinning, centering attempt. Shot is blocked and cleared the length of the ice. It will be an icing against the Chiefs. No, that puck was on edge. Long stretch pass out of the reach of Gergerts. Birkenkotter had the man, but it'll be an icing. Yep, and I mean, again, the turnovers are killing the Chiefs. It is absolutely killer. Losing all of these pucks in key situations for not only defense, but also for offense and losing opportunities to score and get shots on goal. This is right here is going to be a great opportunity to get shots on goal. Kazniak laying the body in low as Shaw comes into pinch. And there for the Stampede is Chernick and Jones. Shaw comes out with it, stick to side. Kazniak lays the body on. Um, Wisniewski shot fired straight into the netting by Nigro. See the seniors' jerseys shake loose. And again, Chiefs get opportunities down on the opposite side of the ice, and they just lose it. They've been losing faceoffs, and they've been uh, committing a lot of turnovers here. Jason Nigro's got four goals, three assists for seven points in league play as the Chiefs look to get another breakout opportunity. Shaw skates in around Jones. Puck's pinned up against the boards. Wisniewski now trying to clear it out, and he will. Now, I played in line with Adrian Wisniewski years back. He's always had the skill and the shot, and he's continued it here, playing a vital role on this BJHW squad. Jones goes in to get it after the chip pass. Fires across to his partner, Wisniewski. Wisniewski hits Gatta, who will chip it in. It'll take back by Winklebeck. Winklebeck's pass is intercepted by Chernick. Chernick tried to get it to uh, Sam Levin. Jason Nigro cutting it around, trying to get a shot off. Just wide. Taking a tumble is Sam Levin. A couple of cross checks in behind the play. Perot is hit with the pass. Here's Wisniewski now. Skating in. Lots of moves. Turned over for a moment. Perot now gets it to Veller. 
Veller dances around Winkleback and hangs on. Hounded there by Jordan, now here's Ban. Ban from the shot, bouncing around and scores! I think that's gonna be Frank Ban's goal. A high deflected puck over the shoulder of Tyler Bruno. And BJHW takes a three nothing lead. Yeah, and Bruno just lost that puck in the air. Ben shot it, got deflected up by, uh, by someone sick, and he just could not find it as it wobbled into the goal So it's there. Blake Perot, or no, Johnny Thompson, who was able to get a stick on it. So another senior will get a goal, it looks like, here tonight. We'll have to check the live score update after this to see exactly who redirected that, but I do believe it'll be a Jonathan Thompson goal. So on senior night, you've got three seniors getting all three goals so far. Here's Keppen now with it, loses it. Here's Perot. Blake Perot takes a wrist shot. It's blocked aside by Stark. Back to the point to Ban. Ban will get an assist at the minimum on that play. Here's Thompson now with it. Thompson spinning around. Has the puck stripped for a moment before clearing it into the corner. In to get it is Stark. Kicked by Thompson, fires it just wide. Ran into the boards by Kepid. Who hits Pepe out. Trying to skate with it, and here comes the best look. Tyler Queen one-on-one -on -one with Ban, and Ban gets the stick in on it. That was a huge play by Ban right there, stopping a lot of the Chiefs' momentum, and really key for keeping BGHW's lead and momentum on top. 9.35 to go here in this second period. Three goal advantages, here's Noah Locke cutting in. Tripped up on the play, no call though. Diving in was number 19, Alexander Calderon. Calderon getting into it with uh, Johnny Gatta. I can tell you right there, the bench was not happy with that no call. Well, you're starting to see a little bit more chippiness. Johnny Gatta, although he's a goal scorer, he also gets a diving shot. Great save there by Bruno. Well, Bruno did get a piece of that one. It went wide, and he's angry at himself, smashing the post. He got himself out of position, which is never what you want to see. Kicking up high is Antonucci trying to pinch it in. Seems like Calderon is getting himself into a lot of dirty places so far. Burke and Cotter now at the point. Wrist shot turned aside by Bruno. Gatta now spinning in with it. Centering attempt to the side of the net. Stick save. Gatta now cutting through, trying to go to the near post. And off the side of the net. Chiefs will come out with it. Here's Reed. Reed is just going to clear it in. Out to play it is Krasnowski. Birkenkotter finds Peterson. Peterson leaves it off for Locke. Cutting in is Gatta. Gatta, wrist shot. Stopped by Bruno. Turn over to the middle of the ice. Here's Gogarty. Wrist shot, save made by Bruno. Rebound comes to the corner. Gatta and Gogarty both go after it. Lots of checks going in. Cleared the length of the ice. It'll be icing against the Chiefs. And that third goal is going to be counted by Blake Peralt. It's going to be assist by Frank Pan. Goal by Blake Peralt. So they did say who got it? Oh, Blake Perot will get credit for the goal. I don't know if he got a stick on that. I thought Johnny got it, but looks like it will be Blake's goal. And I believe there's a penalty against the Chiefs as I'm looking down at the penalty box and looking on the ice. Yep. So the Chiefs will be down a man for the next two minutes. And the Stampede look to extend their lead even further. On the last power play by the, Stamp or by the Chiefs, Stampede was able to capitalize and scored a very good fundamental hockey goal. Let's we'll see if they can do it again. Tripping up is Keppen over his own man. There's a possible two on one for the Chiefs if they were able to stay on. Centering attempt, backhand, forehand, side of the net. Great look. There was Jack Veller. Veller waiting for the pass, dancing around. One was Drazen, not able to get a shot off. Here's Nigro with it. Nigro to Jason. Drazen looks back to the point. Holding it is Luska. Luska back to Drazen. Drazen back to Luska. Wrist shot, hits a man in front. Gogarty now with it in the low corner. Skates behind in the net, evaluating his options. 
Turns on a dime along the right face-off dot. Centering attempt for Drazen. Off his skate. Shot wide. Cleared the length of the ice by Brian Reed. Out to get it is Adam Krasnowski. Long stretch pass. Here's Locke on the breakaway. He's tripped up on the play into Bruno. No call. Tackling him in front. Shot save made by Bruno. Still on the ground is Locke. Locke fighting against Calderon. Calderon without a glove. No call. Here comes Gatta. Gatta, a wrist shot, stick save, barely by Bruno. Birkenkotter chips it in. Here's Peterson now with it. Finally picking up his skit. Shot save made by Bruno. Shooting it is Gatta again. Nothing going. Noah Locke going all out. Calderon pins the stick. Now here's Gatta. Back to his new ski. Peterson. Wrist shot off someone's helmet. You can hear that from all the way up here. Back to the point is Wisniewski. Wrist shot, glove save. On the corner is Gatta. Shot save made by Bruno. Chipping in after it as Bruno gets and into there's it. A fight. And here comes a dog pile. Punches are thrown. That's Locke and Calderon getting into it. Bruno is heated. Bruno skating around asking for a fight. And there's that chippiness you were talking about. In the last game, she's the had with Chiefs PGA don't w. have Tyson Moore dressed on the bench, so Bruno has to be careful. He's the only goaltender available for the Chiefs tonight. Can talk, we talk about the chaos. I know, and talk about that series by Bruno. Oh my goodness. He was putting so much pressure. BJHW had so many shots on goal, but Bruno was able to save him and save him and save him. Even with a BJHW player in his zone, he was still able to save him. I mean, what? So you could see right there on that replay, it was Noah Locke going in after the save was made, spearing him in the pads, trying to knock loose the rebound. Wow. We're looking, only the Chiefs seem to be getting a penalty out of this, which is shocking. Um, I mean, I would have called at least an instigator on the Chiefs. I mean, quite frankly, the Stampede instigated there, and I mean, they got to Calderon. Calderon has been playing with fire all night. He's been getting the chippiest out of everyone on this lineup. And it's gonna come back to burn the Chiefs once again. Another penalty. This is not this is not a good look for the Chiefs right now. You're gonna get a double power play for seven seconds here. So we have five on three. This is a situation the Chiefs do not want to be in. Because frankly, they have struggled to defend this. So it's gonna be tough for the, the Chiefs neutral to go zone. After much discussion by the officials. No Stampede player is headed to the box yet. I mean, we're gonna have to wait the live scoring. The live scoring will be the most interesting part of all of this. So it'll be five on four for the next seven seconds. Somehow no penalty was given on that play. I mean, I'm quite frankly shocked. That's normally a penalty in any realm of the world. Jumping off the line change quickly and after it. Krasnowski is going to swing it around off the glass. Both teams back at Evils and Strength now with 5.43 to go here in this second period. Got slow for a minute there and then a heightened power play led to a scrum in the crease in front of Tyler Bruno. Chiefs have not been able to get any offensive action going whatsoever. And it's just, just like you saw right there, the miscues. Just miss, uh, miss passes right there, the turnovers. The Chiefs has been, have not been firing on all cylinders today. If they want to stay in this game and get their first win on the season, they're going to need to turn it around. I mean, what's interesting is they, looked ga they look gassed right now, and obviously it has to do with their much smaller roster than the Stampede, but numerous players asking for line changes after one shift, which is not something you normally see. No, and the line changes killed uh, the Chiefs last time. Line changes led to what happened in that scrum down there with, again, surprisingly no penalty called. Jumping over, Stark stick turned over. Here's Thompson now trying to get a shot off, spinning around and taken back out. Ban is just going to chip it off the end boards. Thompson tried to get to it. Tripped up, and it's going to come to Veller. Here's Jack Veller in on the left wing boards, trying to fire one short side, goes wide. Coming free with it now is Perot. Perot was credited with the goal earlier to make it 3-0. 
Perot tries a centering attempt and turns it over. Kasniak dumps it off for Reed. Reed is going to chip it and go off for a line change. Veller now, or my apologies, not Veller. Luska will look to Veller. Veller tried to find Thompson's skate. He'll just jump it in. Line change for the Stampede. Pass is turned over, kept in. Here's a two on one almost for the Chiefs, or for the Stampede. Skating in his Keppin with the best look of his night. Looked for a trip, no call made. Comes to Drazen now. Drazen is hounded quickly by Crean and Vandekott. Kicking it out, now here comes Drazen. Two on one developing for the Stampede. Drazen firing one just over the net. He had Gergerts on his far side. Jones is gonna chip it behind the net. Drazen, one time intent, back and he scores! Reed Gergerks makes it 4 nothing Stampede. Another senior, the Wheeling senior, gets on the board. And I mean, what a beautiful play. The passing, the execution by BGHW. We look at this replay right here. Horrible position for the Chiefs to be in, but the great pass there. Uh, my apologies. So Reed Gergerts is a freshman. My good friend Danny Lunard put the wrong notes on my sheet. We do have to appreciate Danny. He gave us some nice laminated rosters he for really this did. game. He really did. Drazen now finding Gogarty. Gogarty cuts in, shooting it just wide. Comes out to the point. Antonucci firing one. Save made by Bruno. Loose in the crease. Diving in after it. Puck is still loose. Cleared aside by Winklebeck. Antonucci now fires one, deflected. Gergerts now with it. Back to Antonucci, Antonucci. Gergerts. Gergerts dumps it in low, Gogarty after it. Gogarty fights off Calderon. Drazen, one-timer, a shot fanned on. Antonucci pinching. Dancing on his forehand to his backhand. He's gonna fling it around. Gogarty's gonna go after it into the left corner. Back to Gergerts, Gergerts to Gogarty. Shot blocked aside by Winklebeck, that one stung. And here's Pepe. Pepe dances through center ice. Fights through one check and gets it off to Reed. Reed loses an edge, can't get a quality shot off. Turning it over is Gogarty before Birkenkotter now comes to get it. Birkenkotter looks for Antonucci who will clear it. Back to Antonucci, Ryan Antonucci, one of my classmates over at John Hersey High School. Coming back with it is Pepe. We haven't seen Jordan on the ice for the Chiefs in a while. He's waiting to get off for a line change. I would assume he's looking for Tez Shaw to get off the ice, but Shaw is taking a long shift. And he'll trip up John Gatta and go to the box. I mean, you could just see that one coming. Bad penalty to take by Shaw. And 150 left in this, uh, this second period. It's going to be killer. For the rest of this period, the uh, BGHW is going to have a power play. And they're one for two on uh, scoring and learning power plays. So it's going to be interesting to see what's going to happen here. And with a lot of the looks, that they've uh, that BGHW has given us, I would say that they're going to have a really good opportunity to score here. For the first time, you'll see Luke Jordan out there on the penalty kill. Back to Wisniewski. Wisniewski has it at the point, playing catch with Gatta. Gatta to Wisniewski. Wisniewski one timer save made by Bruno, and he'll cover. And again, BGHW has just controlled this game, not even through just puck or not even through. Uh, how good their players are, but just through the puck movement and how they've been able to control the puck. That's going to be what uh, the big story of this game has been. Chipping around is Gergerts with it. Trying to find Wisniewski. It's chipped up along the side. Two on one for the Chiefs. If Queen can get there, not able to. Kept in on side. Trying to find Jordan, and it's taken away by Peterson. The best look for the Chiefs came on a play where they barely had possession of the puck. And that really tells you the story of this game. Getting tripped up is Queen by Peterson. No call. Back to Wisniewski. Wisniewski plays chip and chase with Birkenkotter. He'll dump it in after it is Keppin. 
Kirk and Cotter centering attempt for Gatta. Intercepted briefly before Locke now gets it along the end boards. Back to the point is Wisniewski. Wisniewski, wrist shot, sticked aside by Kepin. Back behind the net to Gatta. Gatta leaves it for Peterson. Peterson, a couple of stick handles. Wrist shot, save made by Bruno. Birkenkotter now, behind the back, over to Peterson. Back to Birkenkotter. Birkenkotter from the point, plays catch with Peterson. Peterson's clearing attempt is chipped a high and away. Queen did not know where the puck was for a moment as Wisniewski now comes to get it. Luke Jordan on the back check. Cutting around, makes one nice play, dancing around, backhand just over the net. Couple of Chiefs players down in front of the net, cleared the length of the ice, finally, by Carol Sulka. And the final seven seconds of this second period will wind down. Last shot maybe by Gergerts as the buzzer will sound, ending the second period of play. The score after two, BJHW four, Chiefs nothing. There'll be nine seconds left on the BJHW power play when we come back in 15 minutes. From West Meadows Ice Arena, I've been Ryan Contreras, Betts, Nate, and Gogarty. Tune back in for the third period of Chiefs versus Stampede Hockey.
Welcome back from West Meadows Ice Arena here in Rolling Meadows. I'm Ryan Contreras Betts alongside Adam Griesel. Adam, give us a quick recap of those first two periods. Well, if we're going to be talking about the first two periods, we got to talk about the Chiefs and how costly those turnovers were. The Chiefs had so many turnovers and so many missed opportunities on the BGHW side of the ice, and they just could, could, not, could not convert. On the opposite side of the, uh, of the play, on BGHW side, I mean, they got a lot of opportunities to kind of score and do what they do best, which is get the ball or get the puck out to their best players. And a lot of them have been seniors. They've been honoring the seniors during senior night, getting them a lot of goals, and it's been, it's been showing. Already up 4-0, two of those goals have come on power plays, and it's just very interesting to see how this next uh, period is going to turn out. I mean, they're going to be changing up the lines a little bit, it looks like, here for the Chiefs. They've got Brian Kazniak lining up at center. He's been on the left wing the entire day. They've got Lukowski up there. Remember, still 10 seconds to go on the penalty that occurred at the end of the second period as Kazniak wins the draw but turns it over. Cutting in with speed is Peterson off the fresh ice. Long shot following up on his rebound. Save made by Bruno. Shot came way up high into the mask. Skating quickly from the penalty box is Tez Shaw with a little cross check after the play. Right there, getting a little deja vu from the first period, scoring right off of the uh, opening faceoff. Oh, good job there by Bruno, recovering and kind of getting that save. Gatta back to the point. Here's Peterson fighting with Winkleback below the net. Winkleback will take it himself. You know, one thing with this fresh ice, it's going to cause a couple of skates to fall. Winkleback tight and around the net. Centering attempt for Kazniak, can't go. Here comes Gatta. Gatta kicks it to his stick. Winkleback with tight back check comes back with it. Calderon now. Calderon's been involved big time in a bunch of plays. Getting chippy in that crease. Gatta now. Avoids the check from Lukowski. Avoids Lesniak. Shot by Antonucci just wide. Ryan Antonucci looking for his first goal of the year. Had his best opportunity there. And right now, BGHW is capitalizing off of some chief turnovers. And it's going to be interesting. Right now, they got another shot there just off the side. Another shot there for Antonucci. Ryan Antonucci, normally on defense, seems to be given that forward role right here. He's not out there with Caleb Birkenkotter's defensive pairing. One-timer by Drazen. Just wide. First line still out there for the Chiefs, at least this first line to start this third period. As Kazniak will finally get off. We'll see a quick change. Trying to go quickly, here's Drazen. He's gonna ring it around the boards. Colin Jones in the chip. Noah Locke now, fans on it. Luke Jordan chips it up the ice. Jordan now gets his own puck, dances through one, has some time and space in the middle. He's hit hard by Gogarty, fighting hard with it, rammed into the boards. Gogarty's tripped up, no call. The Stampede bench wanted one. Spinning around Queen is Gogarty who fires a saucer pass up the side to Drazen. Drazen hits Jones on the stick. 
Flung back in. Here's Wisniewski now. Drazen with it. Drazen centers it for Jones. Turns it over. Jordan gets a stick tangled up. No call. He's going to fling it around the boards. Here's Pepe with it. Pepe finds the open man. Skating around is Queen. Queen's hit hard by Wisniewski. Queen lost his stick. They asked to pick it up. Yep. Another quick line change for the Chiefs. Snapshot is going to miss. No icing. Vandekott now in after it. Veller hits the 11. 11 misses Chernick. A little bit of miscommunication there, and here comes Chernick. Chernick has Nigro. Snapshot just wide. Kept near the point is Sam Levin. Centering attempt, just missing Levin. Levin firing one. Here's Nigro. He scores. Jason Nigro puts the stampede up 5 0. He heads to the glass to celebrate the senior. Getting home his fifth goal of the season. And the Stampede lead 5-0. Sam Levin to Jason Nigro. I mean, just you, under four minutes into this first, third period. If you look at that goal, I mean, just more great passing. That has been the key of this game. BGHW passing and gashing this chief defense. Once again, Jason Nigro, that's his fifth goal in league play this season. Centering attempt here is Thompson on the backhand. Good stick there by Calderon. Spinning it around, it comes to Birkenkotter at center ice. Birkenkotter leaves it off, and it's going to be chipped in by Perot. Bouncing puck evades the stick of Birkenkotter. He'll go back to recover. Leaves it off for Veller. Veller finds Thompson. Thompson's going to spin it around to Perot. Perot looks for Gergerts, who just misses. Diving after it was Gergerts. Great defensive play. Turned over to Veller. Three on three, Veller. Firing one off the mask of Bruno into the netting and out of play. 10.45 to go here in this third period. We've got a running clock now, Adam. Yep, and that's been the story of this game, just the uh, Tyler Bruno and the Chiefs defense just not being able to control the BGHW offense. And looking at um, Tyler Bruno's stats, he's got a .808, or he's got 808, uh, or .808 uh, goals, or save percentage, but with um, 55 goals allowed on the season, just kind of speaks volumes to how many shots he's getting uh, when he's in the net. Turned over, shot by Gatta just over the net. Gatta's been rifling it all night, has not hit his target many times. He's a dangerous goal scorer, leading the team with eight goals in league play this year. Of course, Logan Peterson with now 17 leads when you include tournament and non-division games. Winklebeck now fires when he scores! The Chiefs get on the board! Colton Winkleback with his first goal of the season. Five to one now is your score. And there it was. There's finally a Chiefs goal, but came a little too late. But again, look at that. They finally got a good shot and they capitalized on the opportunity. They've been not capitalizing on opportunities tonight. And when they finally do, good things happen. When they finally can play to their potential, good things have been happening, but just, they just haven't. They've been playing sloppy, and they it, it's not been a good game for them. Easily the best shot they've gotten. I mean, there wasn't much traffic there, just a clear path to the net, and Winklebeck is rewarded his first goal of the season. Kasniak dances around. Shaw now comes with it. He'll chip it in off the glass. Hit one of the stanchions. Gogarty now behind the net. That second line out there filled with mostly sophomores and juniors, including the freshman in Reed Gergerts from Wheeling High School, has just been really entertaining to watch. Lots of speed and great chemistry. Lukowski now chips it off of Kasniak's stick. Here's Wisniewski now with it. 
Fires it in from the blue line. Turned aside by Bruno. Gogarty leaves it off for Drazen. Centering attempt, it's turned over. It remains all stampede so far tonight, despite the goal by Winkleback. Enhanced pressure by BGHW after the fact. Rocking and breaking one of the cameras down on the glass. Here's Jones now, leaves it off for Chernick. Chernick fires one blocker save. Big rebound comes out and Levin was not able to get it. Here's Birkenkotter. Dumps it in behind the net. It's gonna come to Chernick. Chernick to Levin. Levin chips it back to Chernick. Chernick is pressured by Jordan. Nigro in, centering attempt evades. Here's Levin. Levin back to Nigro. Nigro can't hold on. Here comes Jordan out the other way. Jordan, a nice chip pass to Queen. Queen has the centering man and Jordan can't get it to him. Nigro now with it. Back to the point. It's kept in by Calderon. Stark was not pinching. Big hit by Birkenkotter. Takes him to the ice. Now here's Chernick. Chernick has some space. Cuts to the dot. Centering attempt for Veller. Veller rings it around the boards. It's going to come to Chernick just out of his reach for a moment. Keeps it in. Nigro now with it. Back to Grayson. Shot save by the block. Here's Levin intercepting it. On the backhand is Chernick. Chernick spinning around. Here's Nigro. Shot save made by Bruno. Vandekott now with it. Almost turns it over to Levin. Kept in for a brief moment by Burke and Cotter before called offsides. I think the biggest difference between BJHW tonight and the D211 Chiefs has just been the passing. The Chiefs have not been able to get the get the puck to uh, to the other players, and they've been missing passes. Whereas BJHW has been getting the puck to other players and creating nice opportunities with uh, most, if not all, of their goals coming off of amazing, beautiful passes. A check after the whistle on Reed. That was Luska. You know, we talked about the first meeting between these two teams being chippy, and this game so far being a little chippy. But it's been relatively calm for much of the third period with 6.49 to go. Running clock no longer a factor after the goal by Winkelbeck. Faceoff will come to the neutral zone. Face off one by BJHW. Here's Johnny Thompson now cutting in. Good stick there by Stark. Turned over to Perot. Perot skates in across the blue line. Chips it into the right corner. Thompson now after it. Thompson had some help from Perot who leaves it off. Here's Calderon. Calderon's pass evades the state. No, evades the tape, I meant to say. I'm mixing up stick and tape. I want to say one thing, say the other. Yeah, we're all good. And again, the Chiefs can just cannot get it out of their own side of the ice tonight. And it's been, it's been a tough night for, uh, for the Chiefs. They do have one player on the ice. We don't have the name. He's a call-up, I believe, with two Chiefs players out for both a suspension and an injury. Perot holding it behind the net, trying to squeeze out of there was Gatta. The Chiefs are the one team that comes away with it. I believe his last name says Coons up there. K-U-N-Z is what I can read from up here, but no confirmation. Here's Winkelbeck, the goal scorer for the Chiefs. Shaw now is going to clear it in. Out to play it is Krasnowski. Ban is going to ring it up to Gatta. Gatta tried to chip it to Peterson, turns it over. One-timer, big save, loose in the crease, he scores! Tez Shaw pots it home, and the Chiefs have a second goal, cutting the deficit to three. And right there, again, I feel like you guys are getting tired of me saying it, but, I mean, just a beautiful play there by the Chiefs. Great passing, taking advantage of uh, Krasnowski being out of position here, and looks like they were going to have it on that first opportunity, but um, they were just able to bounce back. Kasniak able to recover the puck, and pass it off, get that goal, I mean, that's huge. 
Cortez Shaw. It's also his first goal of the season, so the Chiefs are spreading the wealth around now here in this third period. Two goals about three minutes apart. They've got a little bit of momentum going. But looking to change that is Peterson dancing in. Big save by Bruno. Logan Peterson with a nifty dangle. Look at this replay, folks. Recovering it. Toe drag. Backhander. He had all the moves, was just not able to find Twine. Don't feel too bad for Logan, however. He's already got one goal tonight. He'll win the draw back to Gatta. Gatta, save made, trying to get it is Logan again. Now Tez Shah has knocked off the puck while falling to the ice. Brought back out, fighting with it is Jones and Kazniak, but Gatta recovers. Here's Locke with it. Noah Locke tripped up, but no call. It looked like the official was ready to raise the arm, but he didn't. Shah fighting with Jones. Jones playing hard and a dangerous check by Solka. There will be a penalty there. He came in. Cross check on the head, trying to pot it home. He scores! Noah Locke pots one in. Fighting through the stick and oh! Tyler Bruno absolutely obliterates him with a cross check to the head. Losing his cool and there's a scrum, I mean after the goal and that'll be the it, that's it for him. He's gonna be out of the game and I think they might have to call this one. The Chiefs don't have another goaltender. Wow. The Chiefs don't have another goaltender lined up on the bench, I mean, and I will say, I think that's going to be a suspension for Bruno. Oh, that definitely is. Taking a taking a, a hockey stick to the back of the head, there's no way that is not a suspension for Bruno. I mean, I don't think I've ever seen something like that, folks. I mean, absolutely losing is cool. He's given up six goals here tonight. Noah Locke, the senior. For Noah Locke, that's going to be his eighth goal of the year, tying him with Johnny Gatta for league goals. And so now the officials will have to sort this thing out. 4.20 to play here in this third period. 6-2 BGHW. And that type of play is unexcusable, especially when you're down yeah. two fives, going down two six. I mean, he didn't even go after Locke. Uh, can we run? Did we get that on camera? I don't know if we got the replay of that. Because uh, I didn't see exactly who he slashed. I just saw him go in there and I saw him make contact with the helmet, but I didn't see which number he made contact with. We take a look at this replay after the goal. Skating in on the celebration. Let's see where Bruno comes in. Bruno whacked, um, I think that was Gatto that Bruno, let's check these lines. Yeah, so I guess he went in after John Gatto who has been hounding all night. Yep, linemen and refs are sorting out what happened. Trying to figure it out. So Bruno skating around. Yep, he'll be shown the gate, as expected. And as expected, Bruno not happy about that one. So Adam, what do you got for me? I don't know what I can really keep saying, rambling on about. Man, I mean, that situation, Again, unexcusable, but really puts your team in a bad situation. Again, don't have a goal address. Now the Chiefs are scrambling. Finding, are we still going to continue this game? 4.20 left in this third period, down 6-2. Really interesting night. And honestly, like you said, it's been, it has been a very chippy night. I mean, a very chippy night, very aggressive between these two teams. So take a look down at the BGHW squad. They're chilling, taking a quick nap on the ice. Is that, is, that, is that Maple Bomber taking a nap on the ice? Sam Levin, nicknamed Maple Bomber. Doing some snow angels there. I mean, you got to do what you got to do. Let's see what the Chiefs want to do here. They don't have a goalie. Who knows? That's Aiden Gogarty that was doing uh, snow angels. Called over to the bench by head coach Chris Waters. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's just a costly play, costly uh, costly penalty for the Chiefs, um, especially with... I mean, here's the thing. They're not... 
let's be honest, they're not getting beat any more than they were the last time they played this team. They lost uh, six to three. I mean, it's six to two right now. Yeah, it's it's a tough spot to be in, but at the end of the day, can't have your emotions flare up like that, and it's, it's a tough spot to be in. Tough spot to be in. Pressure builds up, and. Bruno's just having shots on shots on shots on shots fired at him from all different angles. It built it, it built up on him, and he just could not release it. I mean, you could hear the fans saying, call the game. I mean, I think they're going to. I mean, there is no goaltender for the Chiefs. I mean, here at 10.08 p.m., I mean, a 6-2 game with 4.20 to play. Might have to go to one of the students in the section to suit up. Send me out there. I'll play goal. Send him out there. Oh, we got Danny Lunard up here. Danny. He's a goalie. That is right. Yeah, so as you can hear from our expert rules analyst, Danny Lunard, we've never seen this before. I mean, we have no clue what's going on. The officials are still trying to sort this whole thing out. So it's going to be a five-minute major. Chiefs will be on the penalty kill the rest of this game. Yeah, I mean, look, honestly, I don't know what more to say, Adam. Yeah, there's, there's not much more to say. I feel like we've covered it all. The rest is taking a lot of time to uh, go over this. Just uh. Bad spot to be in uh, with the uh, with the penalty there. So, also getting a penalty is Carol Solka for cross checking somewhere in there. That would have been called right before uh, yeah, no loss. Would have had to have goal. been called. So, serving the penalty for Bruno will be um, Tyler Lukowski. Also in the box, it looks like Tez Shah is in there. Uh, we're waiting for the live score update to say what that penalty is for. No goalie for the Chiefs. Wow. 30-day suspension and a match penalty called to Tyler Bruno for attempt to injure. And that's a big loss for the Chiefs who only have one other goalie on this roster. They might have to give me a call. They might, they might. They might have to call up Ryan Contreras Betts. Call him all the way down from Hersey High School to a run up goalie for the D211 Chiefs. Luke Jordan, uh, Luke Jordan looking at me. <laughs> Let's see what's going to go on here. Face off one. I, I want to see Maple Bomber get a goal. Here's Jordan now cutting in on the backhand, firing one save made by Lukowski. Um, said Lukowski, it's Krisnowski. Yep, Chiefs are going to be playing with an open net. Again, like you said, no goalie has dressed for them besides Bruno, and he got ejected. Here's Drazen now. Drazen finds Gergerts. Gergerts back to Jones. Jones firing just wide. Here's Antonucci looking for his first goal of the season. Cleared into the bench. And right now, if you are the BGHW, you're putting in the seniors. You're putting in the seniors that have worked four years to be in the spot. I'm giving them an opportunity to shine right now. 3.46 left, you're up 6-2. No goalie. It's a perfect opportunity to get you. Let's see Ryan start. Antonucci get his first goal of the year. That would be pretty exciting. Come on, give me Antonucci. Shoot that. A big save there. Antonucci can't keep it in. Chipping around, clearing it back. Here's Kins now with it. Kins fires at the length of the ice. Skating in after it will be Queen. But Krasnowski is out to get it. Antonucci with it. Antonucci's saucer pass just out of the reach of Drazen. Kept in along the end boards by Jones before it comes out to Gergerts. Gergerts chipping it around. Held in, turned over. Here's Gergerts now with it. Back to the point to Antonucci. Antonucci fires one. Another block there by Kepin. Trying to find Antonucci. Antonucci from the point, he scores! And it's Ryan in. Antonucci with his first goal of the year. They mob him at center ice. I talked to Mr. Antonucci before the game. He said, he, Ryan said to say hi to you. 
and he gets his first goal of the year. What a celebration. Look at his replay. Oh, what a shot from Ryan Antonucci. And the Stampede go up 7-2. to two. Yeah, just a, I mean, that's how you get it done. You meet your players that haven't scored, you get them in, get them those op opportunities, those memories that they can carry on. Oh, I've got a specialty call for when Sam, oh, they're giving, giving a goalie a chance. <laughs> Trying to shoot it is Krasnowski. Oh, what did you expect there? Honestly, after this game, I can't expect anything else. Oh, please give it to Bomber. Come on, Jason, get it to Bomber. Oh, no, Bomber. Sam Levin shot blocked aside. It's going to be cleared the length of the ice. Frank Ban is going to chip it on to Krasnowski. Oh, I thought he was for a second. Skating in his ban. Ban has it himself. He's going to chip it back to Krasnowski. Krasnowski for the goalie goal. Skating to the blue line. Firing at the length of the ice. Chipped just wide. He had the chance. Was Krasnowski. Vandekot firing one just high and wide. 1.30 to go here in this one. Firing one off the side of the net. Save made by Krasnowski again. One-timer. Nigro blocks the shot. Nigro looking to Chernik. Chernik trying to skate around three different Chiefs. Back to Levin. Levin fires one wide. Chiefs trying to keep it desperately out of their own zone with no goalie. Levin takes the tumble. Here's Reed with it. 60 seconds to go in this one. Are they going to give it a Krasnowski one last shot here to score a goal? Looks like not. Well, they're going to try to. As you can see, Luke Jordan now trying to take a run at Caleb Birkenkotter, about a foot and a half taller than Luke. Luke and Caleb talking on their way up the ice. It's going to come to Krasnowski. Krasnowski's got to fight around Luke Jordan. Luke Jordan is dangled. And Luke <laughs> Krasnowski gonna... put it on the moves. Oh, my goodness. Well, there's going to be a penalty for delayed offsides against Kins. And Birkenkotter takes a shove to the ice. Takes a couple slashes to the ankles. They're going to let this running clock end this game. One of the craziest games I've ever seen, oh and my gosh. mercifully, this one will end. As the Stampede take away a 7-2 win on senior night. Adam, I don't know what to say. I, that, that was something else. Just a crazy game, but one thing to take away is just the amount that BG, uh, the, the, BGHW just controlled the puck and was able to pass it off to their other players and can uh, make great opportunities, whereas D211 Chiefs just could not get the passing game going with the puck and therefore just could not create as many opportunities. Could create some at the, uh, at the end of the third period, but it was too little too late. And that that uh, that hit by Bruno kind of sealed, sealed their fate. I mean, they had momentum going too. I mean, I, I know that that's got to absolutely irk Bob Veller to no end. And, I will be quite frank with you, I do not know if Tyler Bruno will start another game for the rest of this season. Um, not only is it a 30-day suspension, but that's inexcusable, and I know, I know Mr. Veller pretty well. He's not going to stand for that as a head coach. Yeah, I mean, I definitely, I mean, I definitely see your point there. Just, just trying, to, trying to hurt a player just with the stick, especially with the back of the head when they're not, when they're not, or not, or not knowing that it's coming. Yeah. That's just, you know, unexcusable. And... Could be uh, Tyson Moore's uh, turn to step up here. Yeah, I mean, Tyson's the starter most of the time. He's going to be starting tomorrow against Barrington, but I I've never seen anything like that. What a game. Uh, Adam, thanks so much for joining me. It's always a blast working with someone I know pretty well. well I know your brother more than yeah. you, but you get the idea. Well, it was great working with you, Ryan. Well, for Danny Lunard, to Russell Matthews, Adam Griesel, I'm Ryan Contreras Betts. Thanks so much for joining us here on RDLAV. Tune in tomorrow for Chiefs versus Barrington. You'll have Jacob Siciliano on the call. So hopefully we see you there. One final time from West Meadows Ice Arena. The final score, BJHW Stampede 7, D211 Chiefs 2.